GoToMovie's reporting tool is the most powerful part of the platform. Mastering reporting and effectively using its data for optimization is key to successful campaigns. As within the inventory section, you will make use of drill down options as well as filters to get the information you want. You are also able to set the date range for your reports on the left. Note it's better to look at data from the lifetime of the campaign so you have more information to work with. In this video, we are going to show you some sample reports you should be using when running campaigns. The first report you typically are able to run when launching a new campaign is optimizing around the banners you are using. To do this, you would select the drill down option of Creative Image and then drill into the campaign you'd like to look at. Now you'll be able to see a comparison of all the banners that have been running in this campaign and start to optimize towards better performance. Looking at this campaign, I can see that this banner has a much stronger click-through rate than this banner, so I should probably only continue to run the campaign on this one. To do this, you would open the campaign page and simply go down to the creative section and pause the creative you no longer wish to run. The next parameter you should be running reports on is the placements the campaign has seen impressions on. To do this, remove image, hit placements, and refresh. When you drill into the placements, they will automatically be sorted by wins, which is impressions, but you are able to sort by any of the columns here. For example, if you wanted to see placements with the most conversions, you would simply hit conversions, and now it will be listed from highest to lowest in conversions. So looking at this report, you can see a variety of different performance levels from the different placements. You should use this information to be able to trim away what is not working for your campaign and try to win more traffic from the placements that are profitable. Right away, the placements that stand out to me as an easy decision to get rid of are some of these placements that have no conversions on a considerable spend. A good rule of thumb when considering when to blacklist a placement is once it is spent three to four times your payout with zero conversions. To have your campaign stop bidding on these placements, you have to set a blacklist. To do this, within the Actions tab, click on the Add Blacklist and simply Add. Now do this for both placements. At any time, you can see when you created a rule, as well as delete it once you hit on the R within the Status tab. After blacklisting the placements that were not working for your campaign, you will want to start to make decisions based around what was working for the campaign. This placement, for instance, is very profitable for the campaign and is only currently winning 55% of the overall volume available. To win more, you can set an individual bid override to try to win as much of the impressions as you can. When setting a bid override, we recommend starting with that placement's eCPM. To set the bid override, you'll select the Money option within the Actions tab. You can put in the bid eCPM and start with this. From there, you can incrementally increase your bid override until the point where you are winning as much traffic as you can while maintaining the level of profitability and performance desired. Sometimes you may see a placement like this, which is converting and driving revenue, but not overall profitable, in which case you should use the power of reporting to drill into the placement and try to pull out the profitable pockets from that placement. So to get more information out of a placement, you choose another one of the parameters, for example carrier, and drill specifically into that placement. This report now shows all the carriers that that traffic is coming from from that individual placement and you can see that while many are unprofitable there's a selection of a few that are profitable that you should continue to run on. As your campaign continues to grow and collect data you can start to be able to make higher level decisions such as looking at the device OS's and even down to the OS version. So for this campaign I can see that it's running on the Windows Phone and that for each OS version there's different levels of profitability. And then I would blacklist which ones aren't working and perhaps it bid overrides for what is working. For more detailed explanations of reporting and optimization tips, please see our articles within the Help Center. We hope you can now use reports to start running profitable campaigns.